Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and we're here in my Lego room, which I haven't been up here in, like, a week. It's been tragic. Been busy. Don't like it. Anyway, I'm going to be going over all the Lego I got in my most recent fan mail video over on my Nerf channel, which my that fan mail was mostly Lego and soda rather than Nerf related stuff. But I got a ridiculous number of mini figs, some really cool stuff, and then a big old bag of mostly mini fig accessories. So I'm gonna go through it all and see what all I got. We have the first package here from Stephen Merritt, and it is apparently most, if not quite all, of the Series 20 minifigures. I'm not sure which ones are missing, so I'm gonna go through it. We don't have 15, apparently. Which one was 15? I, I have no idea, because I, I have a, a package, but I don't have the actual figure, and all the ones that are shown there, I'm pretty sure I have... 16 to collect, so which... which one is number 15? To my phone! To, uh, look! A laptop! To the internet! Alright. I don't know if he's supposed to have a propeller in his hat, but he's getting one. So I have a drone controller. It's, a, it's like a phantom drone. It's got a camera and propellers and came with an extra propeller and his hat can take a propeller, so I gave him a propeller beanie. <laughs> and he got a controller. Neat. We have a rock star with a guitar. A tour shirt. I dig it. A green Lego brick. I dig it. A diver. They gave you uh, bricks that can be stuck into the flippers because the flippers don't normally allow you to to put them on a on a stand. So, and then she has a baby tortoise. An extra. Leafy greens. The spare parts. Aha! We have an athlete! The javelin and a discus and medals. Apparently she's won two medals. I don't know if that's meant to have two medals or if that's a spare part. Probably a spare part. We have a... Karate guy! With nunchucks. Whoa! Very cool. We have what looks like some sort of a Power Ranger with a sword. Very neat. Definitely one of my favorites from this series. We have a Viking. With a spear and a shield and a really cool helmet. And it came with an extra beard! So I can make another dwarf, which... I had something else I got recently that came with an extra dwarf helmet. So I will be able to use that to make a dwarf. A person in a llama costume. Ah, I'm not gonna lie. That's weird. Weird. Llama. Weird llama. And here we have a rocket person. Rocket actually says NASA on it. A wrench, blueprints, very cool. Another one of my favorites, lady pirate character. She's got hair that's connected to the hat. I assume she's only supposed to come with one sword, but she came with two, so she's getting two. Another excellent one, a knight, yellow and black. Really nice looking sword, nice shield. Very, very cool. Somebody dressed up as a pea. An apple. I gave him the extra leafy greens from the diver. I'm not sure what this one is about. Got a boombox. Maybe dancing? Uh, it came with the thing that makes them look like they're flying, so maybe it's supposed to be break dancing. Uh, neat. We have a kitten, a poncho, a sombrero with a pinata and some sticks. Neat. 
And then the one I'm missing is what looks like a small girl in her pajamas with a stuffed bunny. So, uh, yeah. There's, there's the whole lineup. Let's see if I can bring you down here and look at it. Yep. Yep. The minifig line is so cool. They give you so many options that just would not exist otherwise. Very, very neat of them to do that. Alright, let's move on. Next, we have a package from Jay Fitzsimmons. Fabulous man. I am really looking forward to seeing what's in here because apparently, in addition to there being a bag of nifty... I think that's where it came from. Nifty pirate stuff. Uh, he has also sent me a whole bunch of minifigures, but with gold and chrome-plated weapons, which is just going to look fantastic when they're all together, so let's do this. Alright, let's start, I think we're supposed to start with the, the maker, the builder, where is he? There's, there's explanations for all of the characters. Missing one? No. There it is. Okay. We'll start here. I don't have any scissors. I can't open them. Ah, ha ha! Violence. Very good. Very good. All right. So normally we would have the evil dwarf. Who has angry eyes, black beard, dark armor, angry shield, and a double-bladed axe. That is the, the standard, and I have a couple of them, and they're really, really cool. But what we have to augment it... a silver anvil and a oh not quite fully I wonder if it's supposed to be like that I have no idea but a uh, kind of a blue chromed hammer and then there were also a couple of additional spare weapons there was a Gold plated lance that also has a little bit of the gold missing, but it's where the person's hand would be, so it doesn't matter. But that is neat. And some manner of. Looks like an elven sword in gold. So those are ridiculously cool. Alright, let's check our notes. Ari, Hammer and Anvil, Gold Lance, Elven Warrior Sword. Yep, okay. Let's take a look at... Well, let's see what this one's about. Sure. Ah! Oh no! I lost some bits. Well, that wasn't an important bit. Okay, I think there was just... Nope. I'm still missing it. I'll speak you up. Okay. Uh. We have a Minotaur. Who normally has an axe. But, the spare items that came with him in Chrome are a gold belt, I'll say sporin, I don't know if that's the right word, uh, and a gold kopesh. Very cool. What is his story? Minotaur, enchanted kopesh, golden fleece. Oh, okay, it's supposed to be the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes much more sense. Well done. All right, let's take a look at... Yeah, I'm curious what's going on here. Do the thing.
How dare you defy me? I will cut you. I mean it. All right. We have. I don't know. Why does this person have two hair? Um. I see. I see. I haven't actually seen. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Mad Eye Moody and um, Barty Crouch. I see what's going on here. So he's got a stab. They've got separate hair, so you can switch them, and then the head has both faces, so you can switch them around and have both. Very cool. We've got wands and his staff and what looks like potions, but he also apparently comes with a rose gold kind of bone and a copper scorpion. What is this guy's story? Crank Eye Stank, Doom Bone, Manticore Magic Orb. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Fabulous. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that one. Oh, I'm curious what's going on in here. Okay, I'm going right up. Uh -huh. Not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. A Greek goddess of some sort is what it look most resembles. So I think one might also make an argument for a Valkyrie, but um, her alternative items are a red chrome scepter that could have some kind of a gem put on top, and. A golden horn, fanfare horn, as used by the Romans and the, and the like. Very, very cool looking. Alright, let's see about how you... Aha! Super cool. All right, what do we got? Oh, this one looks interesting. Oh, what was what was her story? Uh, da, da, da. Valkyrie, Time Horn Soul Scepter. Very cool. Oh, man, this one. Very easy to open. Ah. Oh, excellent, excellent. Wait, missing a bit. I think. We have what appears to be... An angry Scott. I was expecting him to have actually have a cloth kilt, but he does not. He came with a chromed halberd. Very nice. A non-chromed crossbow, and I have no idea what this stuff is. It's like just chromed bricks. And something with a barcode on it. Um, halberd, siege cart, crossbow, silver lance, iron horse. Okay, so he is supposed to go with this one. So let's build that next, I suppose. That is a ridiculous little siege catapult cart looking thing. However, we do have, I believe, 
Oh, no, doesn't look like it would actually work. Uh, there's there's chromed horse armor, uh, but it, it's a different style and doesn't have the necessary parts to actually attach it. So we will leave that. He gets the crossbow. And apparently the siege cart. That is an awesome halberd. Look at that. Gorgeous. And strange spare parts. What else do we have? We've got... Apparently this is a gladiator. We'll take a look. I'll be the judge of that. Now he already has a chromey kind of helmet. One arm has a manica, sword and gladius. Shield and gladius. The gladiator has a gladius. Very fitting, very fitting. But we have even better stuff for him. For we have a gold gladiator helmet. Chromy gold, that is nice. We have also gold spiked, dual spiked flail and lantern shield, which are, yeah, those are good wild gladiator weapons. I approve. Lantern shield didn't actually exist in that time period, but uh, this is, I mean, I've got a minotaur who's looking at historical accuracy. That guy's a wizard. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Well, let's take a look at this. Oh, wait, what was that guy's story? Gladiator, gladiator, gladiator. I think he is Rufus of Napoli. I hope. Very cool. Very cool. Alright, so we got here. Voila, the musketeer. And for him, oh, we've got some neat and also very silly stuff. That one is really cool. A gold rapier. I dig that. A blue chromed pistol. But much more importantly, since this is a musketeer, a blue chromed musket. That is why they were called musketeers, after all. Also, a uh, black musket. Very cool, very cool. Oh, ah. No! Oh, there it is. And now for the super silly part. He's got a rose gold mustache. That's weird. And I love it. What is his name? El Cid Rivero. Rivero? Rivero. Yes. Very, very, very cool. Okay. What do we got? The last minifigure bag. We have a Viking with horns, which obviously they didn't have, but that's okay because Minotaur. All right, let's see what fancy stuff we have for him. Oh, that is lovely. That is fantastic. He has a chromed axe, a chromed broadsword, and huge gold chromed, it's all gold chrome, gold chromed horns. I love it. Who is this guy? I assume Himlander. Heimlander? Heimlander. I dig it. Huh. All right. We also have a couple of extra parts. We have a silver lance as, as, along with a gold lance, some gold chains, and a blue chromed cannon. That is awesome. We have one more thing to build. We have a Nexo Knight. This is... Fizzler? I believe Fizzler, yes. All right. There he is, 
in his siege cart with the sword. What did he come with? Well, for starters, he came with what appears to be a copper plated troll. Super cool. Kind of a, I would assume, a golem of some kind. Some sort of a construct. And then we've got a new sword for him, far more fitting of his stature. A red shiny Urukai sword and a copper shiny orc goblin sword. This is Fizzler? Fizzler. Very, very cool. All right, I think that is it. Let's take a look at this absurd lineup. So here is our intrepid party of adventurers. The Smith, Gladiator, the Wizard, the Minotaur, the Viking, the Valkyrie, the Musketeer, the Angry Scott, and the whatever that thing is. And our Chromey Troll. That is a fantastic adventure butter. Loads of extra gear since all of their gear has been replaced. And all of it, you know, really good gear because it's minifig line gear. Super cool. That, that was really... That was super cool and creative. I like that. They will definitely end up some sort of an adventuring party in my castle of some kind. I don't know how I'll set it up, but they will be there. They will be there. Maybe I'll have them have, have a hideout of some kind. Ooh. We should put together an adventuring guild. Have them signing up or something. Some of them hanging out in the tavern. Good stuff. Right. And then we have set 6-5 or 6-2-5-7. <coughs> At that's what it says. So... I'm gonna look that up real quick. Castaways Raft. And there it is, the Castaway Raft. I'm not entirely sure I had this one growing up as a kid. It's got a surprise, I mean, three minifigures in a set this small is impressive, and there's, um, Five weapons between the three of them, so that's a and four barrels. That's a nice set for parts. Very, very cool. Thank you ever so much. Oh, and a shark. All right, that settles that. Though there was also, like I said, a couple more really cool chromed parts, and then some sort of a crystal ball. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm dropping it is what's going on here. Yeah. It's a bead. Swirly green bead. Very cool. So I'll put it with the people. With the stuff. Alright. So that takes care of all of that minifigure stuff that's in a big old bag of random bits. Now I'll be sorting through loads of weapons and there's a horse and birds and cloaks and just just nothing but the good stuff nothing but the good stuff i will have fun sifting through that another time that's another one of those beads apparently those actually are lego things are these actually maybe they're part of like i don't know I don't know, do feathers, do, does a feather fit in there? Because that would pretty much seal it. Nope. Well, then I don't know what's going on. They may be part of this or not, but there seems to be a, a gray one in here, and these are from completely different people, so... I'm confused. Anyway, I'm going to go get some food, and then I may come back to this. Dude, the Gladius, nothing but the good stuff. Cool. Cutlass? All the best stuff. Thank you. Ever so much. This has been awesome. I will get this posted someday. Goodbye.